Millie and Molly will never forget their first day at school. Millie, time to get up! And how they almost didn't become friends. Will you miss me, Marmalade? Oh, don't be like that. I have to go to school. You know you can't come. Marmalade? Are you dressed yet, Millie? Coming, Mum! Look, Jemima's going to be here with you. Come on, Marmalade. Not very far away, Molly was having much the same conversation with her cat. Tomcat, will you miss me today? Tomcat? Dolly will be here to play with you. If you don't come to breakfast, Molly, you'll miss the school bus. And don't worry about Tomcat. It's surprising how a cat can fill its day. But Marmalade's going to be lonely. Just hurry up with your breakfast, Millie. You'll miss the school bus. Try not to miss me too much, Marmalade. Try not to miss me too much, Tomcat. Oh, Tomcat! Marmalade! Tomcat! Who's your friend, Marmalade? That's Tomcat. He's my cat. How come you know he's Marmalade? I don't know. Tomcat's come to see me off to school. <laughs> it's my first day. Marmalade too. I'm Millie. I'm Molly. Billy and Molly quickly found that they had different ideas about where the fun would lie at school. Mum says we're going to go on adventures to the zoo and see wild animals from Africa and... Well, I want to do paintings and maybe add leaves to my leaf collection. And... Well, I like adventures more. Anyone going to school? Me! Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Everything. I will. You will. Bye bye, Mum. Like, don't miss me too much. Don't worry, Tomcat. I'll be home straight after school. I'm sure they'll be waiting for you when you get home. Come on, you two. Worry about Marmalade and Tomcat. It's surprising how a cat can fill its day. When they got to school that first day, Millie and Molly went in separate directions. do handstands, we want to skip. Oh. Hello everyone, welcome to school. My name is Miss Blythe and I'll be your teacher. We're going to have fun together, aren't we? Okay. Oh, I think we can do better than that, can't we? Yes, Miss Blythe. Much better. Now let's find out about you lot. My name is Millie, and I like big adventures. One day, I'm going to live at the South Pole and have penguins as pets. My name is Jack. I play soccer and I'm really, really good at it. You can beat everyone I ever play anywhere. My name is Molly. I like riddles. <laughs> um, sometimes I have trouble making up my mind. But when I grow up, I'm going to be a princess. I'm Humphrey, and I think being a princess is silly. <laughs> Humphrey, be nice. Well, cause, cause I'm gonna be an astronaut and beat all the dinosaur robots that come from outer space. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Of course it's not. I'm sure beating all the dinosaur robots from outer space will be a very important job. Mm-hmm. Who's next, Sophie? Millie liked Humphrey. He was loud and funny, so she hoped she might get a desk next to him. But Millie was seated next to Princess Molly, who seemed so different. Molly was disappointed too. She'd rather have been next to Elizabeth, who liked to draw neat drawings. <gasps> Miss Blythe! 
Humphrey, was that very nice? I was just, just, um, helping you draw better. <laughs> <laughs> Millie and Molly found that even their lunches were different. Millie never ate bananas like Molly did, and Molly didn't like apples the way Millie did. But after lunch, they were in for a big surprise. Now, may I see what everyone's been drawing? Oh, yes, lovely! Oh, what imagination! And what's this, Humphrey? It's a dinosaur from Mars blowing up a robot from the moon! <laughs> well, of course it is. And Elizabeth, I see that you've drawn... A rabbit! Oh, yes, of course. Very nice. And Luke, we have twins. Well, mine's a doll, Miss Blythe. Mine too. Well, I'm going to colour mine yellow. But yellow's my favourite colour. It's mine too. It's been mine... Even before I was born. Well, it's been mine since... Now, spin. don't argue. There's time to draw something different if you like. Something that's special to you. Um... Well, do you each have a pet? <gasps> Mama! Millie and Molly had completely forgotten about their precious cats. I had a cat first. No, I did. Well, my cat is nicer than <gasps> yours. By the time Millie and Molly got back to the bus stop, they weren't even talking to each other. Mama! Tomcat! Marmalade! Tomcat! Marmalade! Tomcat! Hello, darling. Tom Here's school. Good. Where's Marmalade? Tomcat! Don't know. Probably waiting at home. Well, let's go! Tomcat! Molly! How was your first day? Have you got Tomcat? I thought he'd be here to meet me. Tomcat? No, sorry. Probably too busy. It's surprising how a cat can fill its day. seen Marmalade all day? All day? But Tomcat must have been missing me. He'll turn up. <laughs> but Tomcat didn't turn up. Tomcat! So a worried Molly Tomcat. went back to where she last saw her precious Tomcat. Marmalade! And Millie had the same idea looking for her precious Marmalade. Oh, hello. Hello. Have you seen my Tomcat? He didn't come home. No. I'm still looking for Marmalade. Marmalade? 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 Tom Where are Marmalade? you, Tomcat? Maybe they're together. They seem to know each other. What if... What if they missed us so much that they tried to find the school and... and got lost? Lost? No! Um... Let's start walking to school. We'll find them that way. Are you sure? No. Millie and Molly went through the park. Marmalade! Tomcat! Marmalade! Tomcat! I really miss you! Marmalade! They went past the town swimming pool. Where are you? Please, Tomcat, come back! Tomcat! Marmalade! And they went all the way back to school. Tomcat! Marmalade! They're not anywhere. I've got a bad feeling in my tummy. Me too. What if we never see them again? <gasps> uh... Let's go to the police station. Yeah, what if a robber took them? <gasps> the fastest way to the police station was back through the park. They ran as fast as they could. Tom 
Patty Spaghetti? That means you and me are cousins, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Molly, will you help me find homes for the kittens? Well... If you teach me how to skip. Only if you teach me how to do handstands. Okay, but you have to listen to all my riddles. Are they funny? Of course. All right. Why do cows wear belts? I don't know. Why? Because their horns don't work. <laughs> the next day, Millie and Molly caught the bus as the best of friends. They discovered that they might look different and even do some things differently, but inside they feel the same.